मॉर्निंग टू ऑल माइसेल मॉर्निंग सर इस दरमर हेड ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग राम कमिश्नर ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी राजा बलेम इट्स माय हॉनर एंड प्रिविलेज टू वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू फॉर दिस इंटरनेशनल वेब कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑन स्मार्ट इंजीनियरिंग टेक्नोलॉजीज 2020 द डे टू सेशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई हार्टली वेलकम द रिसोर्स पर्सन ऑफ टुडे सेशन डॉक्टर मोहम्मद अल हसाला हेड ऑफ सिविल एंड आर्किटेक्चरल Uh, section engineering department sinus college of technology sultanate of oman welcome you sir thank you i extend my welcome to all the faculty and staff member of civil engineering department also i welcome all the participants from various institution industries across the states countries on behalf of Ramco Institute of Technology. One second. Welcome all of you. Now I invite Mr. G. Kartikeyan, Associate Professor, to introduce the resource person. Good morning to all. It's my pleasure. to introduce about today's resource person for the invited talk day 2 dr mohammad gasala graduated with master of engineering in soil mechanics and foundation he did bhc in soil mechanics and foundation he has over 32 years of teaching experience and 7 years of industrial experience currently he is working as head of civil and architecture section engineering department sinus college of technology sultanate of oman he has presented papers in both national and international conferences which includes global civil engineering conference malaysia sultan gabus university and axport united kingdom his research includes performance in enhancement of natural fiber reinforced red mud based concrete eco friendly green concrete 
and cost effective and energy saving technologies for individual waste water treatment process with this brief introduction now i cordially invite dr mahmud gasala head of civil and architecture section engineering department sinus college of technology sultanate of oman to deliver the invited talk on recent trends in construction kind attention for the, yes sir thank you sir kind attention for the participants kindly mute your audio and video in the google meet feedback google form link will be shared at the end of the session to all the participants through google meet chat box and youtube chat box and the google form link will be closed at 10:30 am participants are requested to pin the presenter dr mohammad gasala's presentation e certificates will be provided within 3 days after your online feedback once again i repeat feedback google form link will be closed at 10:30 am thank you mr kian yes sir thank for, you sir for giving me this opportunity to present a lecture invited talk uh, recent trends in construction in your international web conference thank you for organizer thank you for uh, uh, ramco institute of technology thank you for civil engineering department professor assistant darmar thank you for all thank you for audience thank you sir you can share your screen sir yeah, can you share it sir Can we see my slide? Is it? Yes, sir. It's visible. Is you it? can. Yes, yeah. sir. You can yeah. make slides yeah. so. Yeah. Thank yes, you. Sir. You can uh, start. Actually, uh, this paper prepared uh, based on the needs of uh, development of latest technology used in construction. question was raised why the construction industry is so important to an economy and an economy any economy for any country so the paper divided in ancient trends in construction present trends in constructions future trends in constructions why the construction industry is so important for an economy one of the reason is the construction is the first business developed by you virtually all other business rely on construction industry people spend 90% of their time indoors major impact on health and well being total annual revenues 10 trillion dollars and added value 3.6 trillion dollars and 6% of global gross domestic product and this sector construction industry employ over than 100 million people so is the largest global consumer of resources and raw material population of urban areas increasing by 200000 people per day this it means a lot of efforts on civil engineering who are responsible for construction industry all will need housing and infrastructure with the roads or others our industry must transform but our industry is challenged so now we are going to present in few minutes the ancient trends in construction we know the ancient start with the stone age and egyptian where they use different type of materials stones marble others and the greek roman introduced timber and trusses in the construction technology and here we can see how the egyptian construction methodology used they know the stability of the structure and they know the use of scaffolding if you see in the slide you can see the egyptian people before thousands of years they used the scaffolding and they protect the stability of the structure 
And here even they introduced the knowledge of lifting the material using different type of mechanism, vertical direction growth. And here, if I compare the ancient and modern design, I will see big difference that in ancient, they use the local material, stone and marble, and the modern, they use all type of materials used today in the housing or in buildings or in any structure. If I compare even the old design and new design, I can present here as a dancing building in Prague, Republic Czech. Then if I compare before 2000 years ago, the Roman amphitheater and Man Jordan, where they use for dancing and the music and other culture activities. So the concepts totally different and the design is different and the shape is different. And here, if you see the Tbilisi um, music theater, the shape, modern shape is totally different in order to protect the acoustic scenes. But if I go back to all ancient um, construction project, it's totally different because they use the local material. Here, I, I compare the two things, ancient and modern. We can find that big difference between them. As material, even ancient material and modern material is totally different. So I grow fast. Even as safety, the manpower safety in ancient time, it was not protected. But today, we saw different type of safety used. The present trends in construction, which talks about recent trends in construction, it depends on the so many parameters which start with building information modeling, BIM. BIM is new methodology, it is uh, building information modeling for design and constructing any project. And second, virtual reality, VR, augmented reality, AR, robotic in construction, modular construction, prefabrication, drones in construction in different sectors used today, and sustainable construction materials today used, and 3D, 3D printing construction process, which is the latest today. The scope of this, these techniques are sustainable. Wide range of application, consume very less time and durable. So very less time and durable. All these techniques involve use of alternative energy sources, which is renewable. It sees the construction work and there is a lot of scope for future even. These techniques also use recycled materials because we know today the construction material is very expensive it becomes expensive and it becomes less material, resources are less, so the recycling is required. So to create new things, these techniques can use in place where human can, can, cannot access like dangerous places while fire but in any place without man supervision. Introduction about the recent trends. Civil engineering has always readily adopted new technology using innovations. Today, innovations required for development of construction technology, like suspension system to the bridge, while we are building the bridge, and GPS used for the work, for the roads, for other things. And we know that the new technology increasing recreatively way. So Creativity is there and, and, and latest technology used in construction. New technologies make work easier and faster, easier and faster. As the technologies developed in all the fields in engineering, it is essential to develop new trends, uh, researchers, inventions in civil engineering field also, so that we can minimize the time and the cost of construction and the effort of humans. Necessity of implementing trends and construction industry. Basically, the traditional code books 
that we have currently, construction practices are prepared with view of safety and durability only. That's why we cannot achieve so many challenging constructions. But once we break monotony and start exploring new trends, we can achieve any difficulties arising in construction and when we start imagining into implementation, we can change the world. The first model, BIM, Building Information Modeling. This it will allow the, our engineer to see their design and to edit the design before constructing, before getting any mistake in, in construction. So it is an intelligent 3D model based process that gives architect, engineer, and construction professionals the insight and tools more efficiently plan, design, construct, and manage buildings and infrastructure. So this model enables our engineers to do perfectly the design, to edit and to avoid any mistake in the design. While they go for implementation step construction, there is no any mistake in the design. More civil engineering projects with the large scale utilizing of the cloud technology and big data. Today we can see big projects in all over the world going on. Also latest in the list of innovation is the building information modeling BIM. So a future is the BIM. Engineers can now create virtual model of their design, their intelligent 3D modeling process. This futuristic technology can speed up the time and take it into turn building drones into reality. Construction bridge electricity network and superstructure can gain momentum with workable virtual model of the design. The BIM and 3D modeling provide engineers a chance to visualize completed designs and the honest, the design process is cost to cost efficient and more streamlined in the future. Virtual reality and augmented reality model gives more information to your eyes so you can see and you can imagine about your project. AR model can be viewed through the phones today, the latest technology, tables, glasses, helmet, even in the site, in the office, in the company. Virtual reality and augmented reality are the newest trends in civil engineering. It started in 2018, although the technology itself it is new and it is applicable advice advice civil in construction industry gaining immense popularity. So it start taking immense popularity. VR and AR are forms of Im immersive media to visualize the end result. So you can see the end of your, the shape of your project, the end of your project before constructing and are increasingly being used by both users and the civil engineer project teams alike. So this is one of example, virtual reality, augmented reality for all building, even, even for the design, for the building services, for other things. Here, the third point is the report swarm construction, which it becomes very important. Termite can build large structure despite having no central supervision. So getting inspiration from the, these researchers at Harvard University recently developed a swarm of drones which can build structure by following an initial design. And you can see in the slide the termites, robotic termites designed by Harvard University and even Canadian universities. And this technology can be used for building a wall, blocks, other things. 
so can be used in so many places in the construction projects. This technology can be used again in building spaces, uh, uh, stations or Mars, even in the space and under the sea water, like for example, gas, gas pipe under the water, petroleum pipe under the water, water supply under the water, other things in the, in the sea. Robotics in construction can be used for demolishing concrete swan and water-based concrete demolition. Robotics today can be used even for road paving is low process, but this machine, road printer, speed the work, so it can consume the time and the money. Robotics, it, it can reduce the time and the money, and the robotics in construction concrete finishing. Today, you can use it by remote control, so you can go for concrete finishing by using remote control. Robotics in construction used for welding even, and modular construction, you can make the model for any building and you can assemble that model and you can fix it on the site in any time. So it will lead to increasing prefabrication, modularization and eco-friendlessness. The, there, has, there has been growing trends towards multi-trade prefabrication. Such type of prefabrication, it comes in, from time to time, a, a new industry, a new company who was established around, they have big industry, huge industry in prefabrication. A great example in Dubai, where 3D office, office building was printed in 17 days. Many other things around the world, and it will it will uh, uh, reduce even by time. And if it is now expensive, after some time it will be less, it will go to less cost. The, and next point is drones used in technology. Today, this system is enabled users to align a set photographs with 4D building model to allow the new modes of construction site, even surveying work can be done with drones, I, even inspection, safety procedure, safety precaution, everything can be done with drones. Even irrigation, even controlling the environment, everything can be done with drones today. Drones will remain, mainstay drones are instrumental in carrying out safety inspection along with the progress report. Drones access the hazardous sections where the human and workers, they cannot access that place where the hazardous material are there. This technology has allowed survivors to get the job done without risking life and limb. If you see here, the two models here, the drone can help in everything in order to implement the project correctly without any mistake and any risk. Drones and civil engineering can be used in investigation of large or inaccessible site, topography survey, or other maps of topography, repetitive maps during the whole year, for example, in different seasons, infrastructure inspections, ecology, environment, pollution. The other point is sustainable construction materials. Sustainable construction materials today is very famous, and the source of sustainable materials it, it comes from two main sources, reuse form waste material and renewable sources. So we have two, two things that we can get the main source of uh, sustainable materials from reuse waste material and renewable sources. The principle, the principle of sustainable construction materials start from structural efficiency, energy efficiency, and water efficiency, material efficiency. There are four parameters which uh, lead the principle of sustainable construction materials used in construction technology today. Like for example, structural efficiency, it will be the structure, it will be efficient and more smart. Energy, saving energy, and different resource of energy, water efficiency, the use of water efficiency even, and material efficiency, it will be very high. The last point is the 3D printing construction process, modeling, printing, and finishing. 
you can prepare the model, you print it, and finish it. History of 3D printing construction all over the world start from so long time. So first 3D house in the world, it was in 95 in French. And I can say today, the father of 3D printing is Professor Chuck Hall in 84. He present his first project. And you can see in the slide, those two, two here are two pictures where two projects represent two projects. They were printed in by, by the father of the uh, 3D printing. History of 3D printing and construction. And I can say in 26 December, 2016, Spain, they finish the first project in 3D printing, which represent the bridge. 12 meter length and 1.75 meter wide. It was totally printed by using 3D printing construction. And other things in Amsterdam, they cover the canal. And I can say um, there is one point very important here that trends, concrete technology, recent trends, and this it will in, in help the construction technology while the concrete is the main parameter in construction technology. And uh, we can say that uh, uh, the high strength, high performance of concrete used, self-compacting concrete, fiber concrete, reinforced concrete, polymers, high volume fly ash used today, reactive powder concrete and self-healing concrete, bacterium used in the concrete, here self-healing concrete, smart concrete they call it, since 2010, graduated student and professor Rohod Iceland created a new type of smart concrete that heal it on cracks, so it, 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 it will by time it will cover the cracks by using bacterium and this technique it is today it is used all over the world and here we can see the bacteria then start producing limestone to fill the cracks and to and to close it by time the researchers are also developing liquid to fix the cracks different type of chemicals advantages of this technology, most of these technologies are sustainable, very less carbon. So there is no pollution, no affecting human health and environment health. So all these techno technologies use alternative energy sources. These technologies, again, very fast and long last and report, they are using the port, they are using industry and where the access of for manpower is difficult, so this technology can be interfered. So the report can be on any site where the laborers, the human, the engineer, the civil engineer cannot work in that because of that place is very dangerous. So the robotic and remote can control can be used. Smart concrete self health so reduce the water logging and uh, uh, aerogel. Today, aerogel is used, but it is beginning only as research, and drones have made surveying easier today. Plastic roads, even, which solve problem. And this advantage, I can say today, as this advantage of these technologies, are new and not widely used. So the cost is still high. We expect within coming years, this technology will make the cost less, while competition it will be open for all companies. These technologies require high level of skills labor to implement them. So we need training, more qualified laborers we need. So this is a challenge for civil engineers today, for companies and all over the world. They have to start to train their laborers and the civil engineer and the foreman and uh, technicians in order to enable them to have enough skills to use this technology. This primary disadvantage of drone use in civil engineering Initially, capital expensive required, but by time, I'm sure that the prices, the cost will be less. Even the way how we use them, it will be easier. 
the 3D printing, even this technique, it will it will start with the difficulty, but it will be easier, faster. It will be even enable our uh, civil engineer, designer, contractor to implement different projects by using 3D printing. Future trends, the future trends, we call it as digital of construction. The next generation 5D building, BIM, will be used while digital collaboration and mobility with the mobiles and other technology used. The internet will be interfered here in, in advanced analytics. The industry needs to be changed. Next generation 5D BIM is five dimensional presentation of physical and functional characteristics. So any civil engineer in future, he will see his project before starting building that project. He will see even the building services used, even the users, the behavior of the building under usage. So he can study the project before implementing that project, before constructing even. So this technology 5D, it will enable all civil engineers in future to implement 100% correctly the project without mistakes and if it will enable them to study the behavior of the structure, the behavior of the uh, design while they put it under functioning. It considers project cost and schedule in addition to the standard special design. So the 5D and it will enable to edit the schedule, to edit the um, uh, even project management, to use it in very high efficiency. So the 5D BIM platform allows the owners, the contractors to identify, analyze, and record the impact of changes on project cost and scheduling. If the owner presents his wishes to change or to edit the project, it can be possible during the design 5D BIM the designer can interfere and can change based on the owner recommendations. Now the smart structure, which is the future of uh, construction technology, uh, having sensors where those sensors can in, uh, uh, enable the civil engineer to study the behavior of the structure under loading. They can build the sensors in the foundation, in the structure, in the column, in the beams, in any place of the structure, and they can connect it with the smart system in the in the house, in the building, while it is used in for future smart house, smart buildings. They can study whether this building having problem, leakage of water, leakage of gas, the cracks in the structure, any problem in the steel, any problem in the in the um, any member of the structure. So it enable real time testing for all foundation elements. So the sensor that build in the uh, each member of the structure enable our engineers, civil engineers, to have clear what's going on under the structure, under loading. Automated toll charge payment monitoring for road traffic and adapted speed limit setting, it can be used even with five model. Now the future is the smart house, smart cities, and smart building services. Why do I need to a smart home or smart house or smart building. Four words can reflect my needs. Efficiency, cost saving, environmental impact, and user impact. The future required from us to think as civil engineer and to put a benchmark, a start, and we have to start to think that the future is for smart buildings and smart cities, smart services. And these smart building, smart services, and smart home, smart projects should match with the smart technology used today. Like for example, communication, smart communication today. If the communication is smart and our way of design is not smart, how it will match with the latest technology used? So our civil engineer should think that we should start companies, construction materials, designers, contractors, 
big companies, small companies, they should start and they should put a plan that we should start today to put a plan how we can achieve in future the smart design, smart construction, smart cities, smart buildings by changing way of design. I put here a smart city. This smart city used smart services, communication, water, gas, every services here is smart, controlled by internet, by remote sensing, by satellite, by everything. You can close your ACs from so far place if you forget morning from your house. These things, the smart services required from civil engineer to put a plan and to start to think how we can change our way of design, how we can change our way of industry construction materials, how we can produce smart materials, how we can fabricate smart structures, how we can go for smart services, building services. I write here in my WhatsApp states before a long time ago, the future of smart cities is now. Problems in this world will never end or diminish. They will simply evolve and grow. However, if cities around the world share their ideas, goals, and dreams, then we can learn to resolve these challenges together. Smart cities require smart users. It means even the users in future, they should be trained how to use these technologies. And this type of example of the future smart cities and smart buildings, smart services, even the way how we design should be smart. And one of the tools that should be activated by usage is that GIS. We have to connect all the GIS data with our digital design, then we can extract from GIS whatever type of data we need. If I need, for example, if I need to build classrooms for school, if Minister of Education asked me as designer to design classrooms for schools in September, while in my area, I have all the data for existing school, existing classroom area, and I know how many kids they will achieve seven years in September. So I will can calculate from GIS map, I can calculate the needs if the things are updated, the kids age updated, their birthday updated. I can calculate, calculate how many rooms I need in September without disturbing anybody in education. So even so for Ministry of Health, if they, people in the area request for hospital, extra hospital. I can, from the existing data, calculate whether this city required new hospital or no by using smart data, GIS data that is uploaded in digital map. How many people who died? How many people who has done operation? How many people who transferred to the other city for surgery? For surgery? How many people they were sick within one year? So this data, smart data, will enable me as designer, and it is very fast to extract this data if the, all the partners, all the partners, the users, the producer of information, they update their data on, in GIS map. I can in, intersect this data with my area, then I can come with exact conclusion that with this number of patients, with this number of sick people, I need really a new hospital or additional hospital for this city. Same thing for building service for any city. You can decide, you can decide as civil engineer based on the smart data that you have, that based on the smart methodology that you are using. You can get clear and accurate data that you need. Then you go for accurate design. Then you will de de determine correct project without exaggeration. In traditional way, the Minister of Health, he will take decision to approve the new hospital with cost of million dollars. But finally, few people, they will use it. So this decision was built on wrong data. No, nothing there as ac accurate data. But if I connect my design with the smart data, with the smart technology today, with smart tools, 
then I will come with smart design and accurate design and correct that and correct result. Smart technology should, the question was raised by me, should these technology change the way we design, build cities, and if so, how? The answer already I give it to you, to smart your design with the smart technology and smart data collected. And in this way, I will conclude my presentation today. I hope that you like it with smart building, digital construction industry today requirement, tomorrow challenge. Thank you for your great audience and uh, your great time that you spared for listening to my lecture. Thank you very much, sir, for your excellent presentation on recent trends in construction. You have covered various latest technologies, virtual reality in construction, robotics in construction, building information modeling, 3D printing, and drones in construction, smart cities, GIS. So the excellent presentation, sir. Thank you very much for sharing useful information to all, all the participants, sir. Thank you, thanks, sir. Sir, there are a few questions. Yes, sir. Uh, structural efficiency is related to compressive strength and modulus of elasticity, sir. Can you repeat the question, sir? Uh, structural efficiency is related to compressive strength and modulus of elasticity. Yeah, for the compression, yeah, and modulus of elasticity, yeah, both, yeah. Sir, next, is there any smart city has used in dim technology on level 3 itself? Actually, level three is the basic 3D, uh, 3D model is the most important model that allow us to uh, visualize the, the design. But the fourth model and the fifth D, it will enable us to uh, um, study the characteristic, physical characteristic of the users and the parameter which come after the, the uh, usage of that design before constructing. Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, what about the scope and awareness of using these trends like using robots in construction, using drones, and so on in India, sir? Today, I can say so many projects all over the world are using drones and other robotics in concrete technology, in surveying, in site investigation, in safety. Even today, I can say some big companies, they have drones special for health and safety to control the inspection the implementation of health and safety, the civil engineer who is responsible for health and safety manager, he will use this technology in order to control all the thousands of laborers and the, uh, members in the cost big construction projects, especially in roads, in airports, in bridge, in uh, dams, in big projects or in projects in uh, dangerous places. Yes, sir. The next question, how come cloud and mobile technology are used in construction yeah project managers could today with the new software used today in the smart uh, buildings and smart design and smart technology used in in controlling the management and software used he can control everything and he can edit on the site by using his mo his mobile and he can connect his mobile with the uh, control system in the in the site and he can is sent messages automatic to the uh, other members of the, his team, whether project construction manager or uh, surveying manager or uh, material uh, supervisor or foreman or builders or uh, workers. Yes, sir. The so next, uh, how is 3D printing construction method is efficient as compared to conventional method of construction? Since it is uh, reducing the time and the, the uh, efforts. And uh, since it is uh, having uh, opportunity to be, to be improved and to use the uh, advanced technology in, in, in construction, uh, I think this is the future. The 3D printing is the future of uh, high-rise pendulum. And it will be used for different projects. And already some universities in Europe and USA, they start in Canada, they start to implement 
even uh, projects using 3D printing. It is the future of construction and especially concrete technology. Yes. Sir. sir, next, is any known structure which is built by 3D printing in India? Actually, I, I search, uh, uh, I search, but I didn't get, but I heard that there are different uh, uh, pilot projects uh, used in as printing project in India. Yes, sir. You already start? Yes, sir. Uh, sir, where do India stands in this dis digital construction and how we can improve more digitizing trends under digital technology, sir? Yeah, actually, uh, as I mentioned in my uh, presentation, we should start to connect since we study and we review our existing construction technology available today in our hand. So we should analyze where are the areas we should get improved? Where are the simple way of starting the digital construction? And let us to say that we can start with small home offices with a smart house, smart home. Then we can, for, we can go for new design, not the existing building. We cannot edit the existing building and to make it start easily. We can design for new areas, new buildings, new offices, and new cities, and we can make them uh, within coming 25 years, smart zones, smart areas, smart building services. At least we, we design it on, on, on design, we make it ready, then we can implement it any time. I request the participants to mute your audio. I request the participants. So as I mentioned, uh, we could start with easiest things and we can um, study which digital construction we can implement it. And today I can say so many countries, they start with using digital construction and they connect the construction technology with digital part and that they go for transformation. And I request all civil engineers to gather information how we start to transform from traditional and uh, technology to the, to the digital, whether in design or in planning or even in construction. Yes, sir. Sir, next, what about if pollution becomes high due to getting smart city? Actually, digital construction, future construction, it will, the first aim of the future construction, digital construction, is to protect the health and safety and environment. Yes. So all the parameters used in the future construction is to protect the humanity, the risk of uh, um, safety for laborers. If I can say today, every project having accident and uh, death people, so um, risk is very high, but future, the digital construction, it will uh, take in consideration uh, the health and safety, and it is taken, and it will protect, because the robotics, it will protect the health. Sir, next, is 3D technology used in Sultanate of Oman, sir? Still, it is starting, it is not implemented as project. Yes, sir. Sir, whether the new technology for 3D printing is environmental friendly, what about the nature and ecosystem, sir? Actually, we can, we can uh, uh, adapt uh, the ecosystem within the uh, design that we use it uh, as, as a 3D printing. And uh, uh, since I, I told that the 3D printing, we can uh, take in consideration the consumption of the energy, so to reduce the consumption of energy and to use the uh, recycled material, to use the uh, renewable materials. These things are uh, serve the uh, eco-friendly. Sir, is these trends are efficient in repairing or rehabilitation of existing structures, sir? 
Yeah, it can it can be used for uh, rehabilitation and it can be used for roads. Even robotics today is used for uh, repairing the cracks for roads from so far by using uh, remote control. So we can use the technology for repairing even a high level structure. We can use uh, multi stories. We can we can use even where the site we cannot access it dangerous material there. So hazardous material there. So we can use the robotics and even even the latest technology, the advanced technology used in in repairing. Yeah. Sorry, this GIS uses the information from which sources, sir? Sorry? GIS uses the information from which sources, sir? This. I, I am a member of uh, ESRI. I am a specialist in GIS. All my experience seven years in Jordan, it was uh, Royal Jordanian Geographic Center, GIS, Royal GIS Center in Jordan. I work seven years in the center. I am a member of uh, ESRI company, so I got my uh, information and updation from ESRI company. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir, once again. On behalf of our institute, I thank, I thank, thank you, sir, for giving very useful and informative session to all the participants. Okay, let me just to uh, thank. Uh, uh, first of all, uh, I'm gratefully and thankful, Assistant Professor Darmar, the head of Civil Engineering Department, and to Assistant Professor Karthikian for they're inviting me to uh, this international web conference. I really like it, it's great uh, international. And uh, thank you for uh, government of India for giving me this opportunity. In name of Shinas College of Technology, I thank all of you. And in name of my family, my kids, uh, I thank all of you participants, organizers, my colleagues who support me in this presentation. Thank you a lot. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. We will expect again one more session from you. We will plan within shortly. Sir. I'm ready. I'm ready. Yes. If you need any time, I'm ready. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all the participants. So now I formally close the session. Thank you all. Thank you, sir.